the crossover. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Brilliant move by Harden against the foul. Getting the whistle and the bucket. And what's your take, guys, in the hustle stats for the 76ers? George Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. At the line for your Sixers, James Harden. One shot. And Harden is capable of getting you a triple-double every game. His versatility is incredible. Outside Tatum. With some arc, some solid defense from Harris. The 76ers leading by 14. Maxi passes to Embiid. Pulls it from 20. Maxi, no good. See that miss, that miss right there. It's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Horford and a dunk by Horford. Not just being selfish, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. It's Harden with the drive and the dunk by Embiid. Oh, reversed at home. That was pretty. Agreed. The agility on display. The Celtics trail by 14. Tatum passes to Williams. And Embiid with the block. Tatum against Harris. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by MB. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. Well, they didn't make it this far by giving up easy ones. And now their defense is in overdrive. Often time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Yeah, we can see over here. The coach, he has some choice words for his team. Words we cannot repeat. Well, we've got a moment here. Let's present our player of the game, Joel Embiid. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight. That They've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. With a chance to take command in this series, he did everything. That is the kind of killer instinct you need in the playoffs. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hi, Kevin. Well, the head coach for the Celtics talked to his team during the break. He was begging them to step it up. He said, we've got to make the move now, or we're going to be out of time and out of luck. Give it everything you've got out there. Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. Just five on the clock. Here's Williams. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. You know, still a raw talent, but Williams does have a reliable inside game that continues to get better. And the jam by Harden. Just rubbing it in their faces with that one. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the bat. And that finish shows you how dangerous he can be as a passer and a finisher. Here's Tatum. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. That three off the mark. Got to find easier shots when you're already struggling. That's not going to get it. Here's Maxi. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Wait, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Philadelphia, Tyrese Maxey. Shooting one. Celtics trail by 17. Tatum with it. Passes to Brock. Here's Horford. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his second. And how about the poise there by Horford? Let's the defender make the mistake. And now he's headed to the line. The first one falls. And 
And Al Horford drops them both. The 76ers leading by 15. Maxi kicks to Harden. He dishes it to Embiid. That shot, no good. Excellent D there from Williams. For Boston, they've gone just 33% for the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. And the pass to Maxi. And the rejection by Tatum. The all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. Smart passes to Tatum. The kick out to Williams. Let's it go with the three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Here's Harden on the way. Feeds to Embiid. Stolen by Smart. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists now tonight. Strong from three-point land. Tatum is about a 40% shooter from deep. That's impressive. Here's Harden. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's his third personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Sixers, James Harden. Taking two shots. We throw good from Harden. The Anthony Melt. He's jacked in for Philadelphia. And good on the second, so he makes them both. There's a minute 34 left here in the fourth quarter. Over in the corner, Brown. Offensive rebound. Here's Williams, and Williams throws it down. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the board. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Here's Harden. And the rejection by Tatum. Smart deciding where to go with it. Here's Horford. That one wide left. And so Harden will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And game three will go in the record books here. Lots of energy out there tonight and an important win for the 76ers. Two great rebounding teams. And, and these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight. And that was the edge they needed. And this is a pretty decisive victory. They take the lead in the series two games to one. Yeah, game threes are very important. If they can keep this sort of confidence going into game four, boy, they are going to be tough to beat. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Joel Embiid. Honestly, I just love how relentless he is on the glass, making a big effort to pull the ball in and give his teammates extra chances. Again, the miss by the Celtics. They're in good position here to ride it out. Yeah, certainly, if they just play smart, this game's over. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Knocks it loose. Now the 76ers on the break. House has got the ball. Another shot, and the layup is good. And the 76ers lead by 14. And you can sense that these fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. It's always nice to perform like this, especially in front of the faithful home crowd. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games, and they've made that adjustment since the break. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in Game 3. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of the series, Game 3 means everything. They're going into Game 4 now, riding that high after this win. That'll do it for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference Semifinals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.